All right, Paul, just one more race before we have our halftime break. And that race number six, Brandon, will feature Trevor Hoffer, Rusty Williamson, Corey Sanchester, and Thomas Linklater. There's Luke in the lineup for this next race. And, and it's back to the field we go. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, we start the race. And these four channel are off and running as we approach the halftime break here in Omaha, Nebraska. And there's one model we always stick with our fans each and every season. You guessed it, anything can happen in the child racing universe. The fans know it by heart. Right now on the fourth channel, we're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Trevor Hall front and Thomas Green Glider. They're going to be battling for re up in front. As number two wins the winning toss. But that was a little too early. And he decided to dance to the beat. Right now, a couple of opponents are heading for one at the come one. And it looks like Trevor Hoffer and one of the third child are going to rest. That means Corey Sarge just a little bit of catching up to do as he will have to be best number two in his face. And right now, Rusty Williamson is making his way towards the other side of the water. <coughs> he is now entering water. It's Thomas Lee Glad who has command on the lead heading into the top of the hill. As number two will get it over time. That makes his second speed bus the race. His best speed bus was wasted, but that second speed bus is not not too much of a pity. And right now Trevor Hall for pauses for more. So he'll drop down to last place. As number seven leaves Trevor Hall for in the last with the next command speed bus. <coughs> Meanwhile, Thomas Lee Glad is trying his best to defend the lead over Rusty Williamson as he makes his way towards the Sapphire portion of the of course, and down he goes! And he almost dropped off course. That's gonna cost us zero sandwich. Anyway, who got the next class SPS? It's Corey Sanchester. That makes it second speed by the base. And right now numbers one and two are both getting left behind in the competition. Looks like Trevor Hoffer also really needs help, but it's numbers one and two. We're getting left behind on the competition. Let's find out who we get the next command SPS. And that next SPS we may buy the Crime Buster Policeman, Rusty Williamson. Now I'm trying to make a miracle comeback ahead of Thomas Linklater. <laughs> Thomas Linklater might need to watch out soon. Rusty Williamson is starting to catch up on his tail. Thomas Linklater trying to defend the lead as he makes his way towards the past the waterfall. Now entering the hole stretch. And here comes Rusty Williamson with back-to-back -back speed bus. Try to make one last effort to stay alive. Thomas Lingrad trying to defend the lead, heading into the hole stretch. I do believe he is the better flyer than Rusty Williamson. Yep, Thomas Lingrad is going to have plenty of room ahead of Rusty Williamson. So he is going to win this one for sure. Next PS belongs to number 8. And he quickly wakes up for his nap. Thomas Lingrad is going to improve about 500 for this week. And there you have it, Thomas Wingrider wins this one. He sits at 3 and 2 with an incredible victory. That's going to be followed by Corey Sanchez in the second place. And number 8 will get back to back to PS, and that's going to do it. That makes 2 in a row by 2 in a row for Rusty Williamson and number 8, respectively. And number 1 has no hope for surviving whatsoever. So Thomas Wingrider gets the job done this week. That's right, let's find out how well he will do next week. Coming up, we'll present the second half of Week 5 Spaces, but first have a look at this. <laughs> 